Hey guys, this is Muncie. Uh, I just wanted to finish up on my video about the items I carry in my my EDC trauma kit. So this kit is something that I carry every day in my motorcycle bag, in my saddle, saddle bag. Um, this is all stuff that I have um, personally trained with. This is stuff that I have some experience using in, uh, in real life. So uh, let's just, uh, we'll just look at it and see, see what it is. If you're new to Moto Vlogs, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to become part of the community. So my kid's just a standard Molly type bag, Velcro. Um, it's just Velcro uh, that you put on like a backpack or book bag or uh, attack vest or something. But uh, I just stuff it full of stuff. Let's just dig right in. So first and foremost, um, universal precaution. You want to make sure that you have some gloves, some uh, latex or rubber gloves. That uh, gives it an added barrier protection between you and between a, a person that you may be treating. You don't want to get their bodily fluids on you. So, um, an ace bandage. Ace bandage can be used for many things. Um, worst case scenarios, you can use it for a tourniquet. Um, you can use it as a sling. You can use it to help hold a splint together um, on someone if you need to. Um, bandages. So um, this is a commercially it's called a blood stopper. Um, what it has in it is uh, it has a flat gall. Kind of more like a felt um, and then it has one large roll of gall but they've rolled it from both ends to make two separate rolls so that when you apply it um, you can just roll them both out and just keep going around an arm or a leg or something like that so. um, a triangle bandage this is a typical triangle bandage you'll see in a military kit. I think I got this at an Army Navy surplus store for like two bucks or something. Um, you can use it to splint. You can use it to um, keep a, a gall in place. Galls, um, you keep galls in place if you've you know applied pressure. You can use that. Um, so this is just a standard, as you can see. It's something that was, um, you know, made for the military. Uh, for you Boy Scouts out there, all you Eagle Scouts and Tenderfoots or whatever, um, this is basically like a enlarged neckerchief or handkerchief bandana. Uh, another roll of gall. Um, it's just one bandage. It's a roll so that you can just wrap around your wound. Um, flashlight. You can use this to check pupil dilation. Uh, regular first aid tape. Um, this is Coflex. Basically, it's a self adhesive bandage. It sticks to itself. It won't stick to your skin. So if you had to, to wrap um, a wound and say you, you either didn't have um, balls to put down first or you did, but you know you don't want tape to stick to your your skin or your wound. It's perfect to use. Uh, I do carry a pair of shears or scissors. Uh, it's great for cutting jeans away uh, to get to a wound, or cutting you know shoelaces to get to uh, you know a foot. Um, also, of course, you can cut your Cut your gauze bandages with it. Hemostat. 
right? It's something I had laying around from a, a, a prior kit, and so I just threw them in here. Tweezers, um, not much you'd probably use this for in a trauma kit. Uh, I had them, so I threw them in there. Maybe you get a big wood sliver up in there, up in your skin from a, a fall, you know, something. Got some road rash and you pick the gravel out. I don't know, but uh, I had them, so I threw them in there. Another compression bandage. Um, it's just a, a trauma wound. Uh, the cool thing about this, I mean, it is a commercial made one. Um, you can wrap it. It has um, it has a fixture where you can actually put the, the gauze through and pull it tight. Um, you can see that's kind of what it is. Uh, uh, some people call it an Israeli bandage. They call it that because it was made in Israel. But uh, it's uh, it's a it's a really good bandage to have and use. I do have a commercial grade um, tourniquet. Uh, this is something that I've applied to people before um, in training. We apply it to ourselves. They teach us how to apply it one-handed. So it's it's a great tool to have. Um, I do have four by four gauze bandages. Um, this one they call it a surgical sponge, um, but uh, these are great for uh, applying pressure and stopping uh, stopping bleeding. Or say once bleeding has stopped, you need to wrap a wound. Um, it's a great uh, barrier in case bleeding starts again. Um, so it's just a typical gauze, but it's a four by four. Um, I do carry Quick Clot. I've been trained in the use of Quick Clot. If you're not familiar with Quick Clot, um, basically it's a uh, it's an advanced trauma clotting sponge. And what it does, if you have a, a severe um, open wound, um, this will stop the bleeding pretty quick. Um, the last, well. Let's see. Also in the front, I just carry some uh, three by three um, gauze pads there again, just to put over a wound after you've stopped the bleeding. And I have some large band-aids. The last thing I carry, um, not a lot of people probably carry this. Um, I do, because I've been trained on it. I've used it, I've saved people's lives with it. Um, I've watched people's lives be saved with it, and in today's day of um, opiate abuse and overdoses, um, there's no telling when you might come across um, someone uh, who was overdosed on opioids. And, uh, and heaven forbid that there's someone exposed to something like fentanyl or something that um, is not an opioid abuser. Um, this this is a great thing to have. This is basically Narcan. Um, so carry bag, carry trauma kit. And it might save uh, someone's life someday. It might save your life someday. So, but uh, be safe, stay strong. We'll see you on the road. Like the beard? I'm trying. I'm growing it out. I'm getting there. Uh, about four weeks, I guess. Can't wait till I can grow the mustache out. We'll see.